Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Tarot. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Monday, October 10th. This is the 1010 portal, the day of the 1010 portal. All right, so it's all about endings and new beginnings, okay? This is for Monday, October 10th, Daily Collective. Now, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I pre-shuffled this deck already. This is the Energy Oracle deck. Um, it has both upright and reversals, okay? So let's see, what do we get um, for the collective? For Monday, October 10th, Spirit, please make it clear. Okay. Okay. So we get action number 17. Is it? Yeah. With... Angel of Balance, number 48 on the bottom, okay? So this is action because of the Angel of Balance. So let's read the message, <clears throat> number 17. It says this. This card tells you that now is the time for more aggressive forward movement. The galloping horses represent intentional and concerted action directed to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. The white horse is interaction of spirit and thought. The black horse is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create, okay? So it's time for you to put a little bit more effort, okay? So these, this is the black horse and the white horse that they were talking about in the description. Okay, so the white horse represents the efforts of spirit and the black horse represents yours. Okay, so a little bit more. Okay, so you can be aligned to what spirit has for you. Right? Okay. Well, let's see and clarify that message for you. All right, this is for the Daily Collective for Monday, October 10th. Okay, you're almost there. All right? You're going in the right direction and you're on the right track, okay? All right, why is action here for the collective spirit? Please make it clear. Why is action here for the collective? Okay, so this is about disappointment. Three of Swords, Energy, um, Heartbreak. Um, yeah, Disappointment, okay. Um, with the Three of Wands. This is like, you know, waiting for things to turn around for you. Um, your vision for what you want for your life. Your vision for, um, you know, the future, okay? Moving past the heartbreak, all right? There is maybe some heartbreak that you still need to get over, okay? With the Chariot Energy, okay? And the Queen of Wands. This could be... Um, moving past some heartbreak so that you can rebuild your confidence because with the four of cups is energy of rejection dissatisfaction or um maybe even um moving or getting over some heartbreak that was um created by an aries elio or sagittarius yeah because you're sitting in more of like a the devil energy can be like um anything that's like um overly done in, in a, like an obsessive manner, okay? So maybe even talking down to yourself or feeling like, you know, woe is me or um, I'm never going to get this or whatever. It's like something that is impacting your um, view for your future, okay? Uh, with the Three of Swords, it's kind of indicating that um, it might have something to do with heartbreak or, indip indip <laughs> heartbreak or disappointment, okay? With the Five of Cups here, that's sitting in regret and sorrow, um, should have, could have, would have. Uh, why did this happen and not that, right? Um, it's time for you to move past that. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to be happy, okay? It's time for you to receive the abundance that God, the universe source, has in store for you, okay? With the lover's energy and the six of pentacles, this could have something to do with partnerships. This can have something to do with, um, your major life choices, okay, where you start to create the balance that you want because we do have angel of balance here on the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, 
being able to balance out your finances, your stability, um, having someone in your life that can um, contribute to you, um, help move things forward for you, uh, coming out of this energy, okay? So why is action here for the collective? Okay, it's like you have a vision for your future, but you're still kind of stuck in this, um, this energy of uh, lack, disappointment, um, heartbreak, uh, frustration, um, you're still dwelling on the past. So Spirit is saying you're on the right track because you are taking, I feel like you are taking steps to make changes in your life. You are taking steps to get over the past, okay? You are looking forward to what the future has to offer with the Three of Wands, but Spirit wants you to take a little bit more action, okay? With the World Energy and the Empress, okay? This is about ending that cycle, because look at it, it's the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Ending the cycle of past regret and sorrow and sadness so that you can receive the abundance that the universe, God, source, has in store for you, okay? Anything else for action? Spirit is definitely um, happy about the progress that you're making. They just want to see a little bit more effort, okay? Why is action here for the collective? The tower is about a sudden change, okay? Um, yeah, it's a sudden change, okay? Um, this, this is unexpected, okay? This is um, the universe stepping in, okay? Um, with the seven of wands, okay? This is about, um, it, it's an energy of like blocking or protecting, okay? I feel like, it's time to, the tower is about tearing something down. Um, there's something that needs to be destroyed, okay? Because it is blocking new beginnings for you, okay? There's something that needs to be torn down, okay? Um, released and let go, okay? Because it's time for you to go into a different direction. With the Ace of Cups here, okay? And the Ace of Pentacles, all right? Five of Wands right behind that. Um, there there are new beginnings for you, okay? Okay? Um, whatever you're looking towards in your future, they're there and they're waiting for you. You really just have to release the past, okay? With this tower energy, this is God's assistance, okay? This is a major arcana, the only major arcana that is here. So right in the middle, God steps in, okay? And creates the shift that's needed because it's something that is blocking, okay, you from having these new beginnings, okay? Something that is a conflict, yeah, but the Ten of Swords, okay? Yeah, it's something for you to get over, all right? So, this is all because of the Angel of Balance, number 48, okay? All right, so that says this. This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Okay. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Okay, so this is all about re this is about grounding yourself, establishing a firm foundation emotionally, okay, um, in your energy. All right, so let's clarify, okay? I feel like that's why this tower is here, to create that shift for you. Why is the angel of balance here for the collective? 
Angel of Balance for the collective spirit. Why is the Angel of Balance here? The Eight of Cups is about releasing the past, walking away from it. It no longer serves you, okay? Um, so that you can go to the Nine of Cups, which is having your wishes fulfilled. With the Hangman energy, all right, this is about... Okay. Yeah, this is about something that is keeping you stuck. With the hangman energy, something is keeping you almost like at a pause, all right? Um, the queen of swords energy is about clear thoughts. Um, it's about speaking your truth. It's about removing things that are not serving you, okay? Ten of swords energy is a, is an energy of betrayal, okay? With the, ten, with the devil energy, there's something that is not helping you, okay? Um, it is impacting your decision making, all right? It is making you um, indecisive. It is making you um, not see possibilities. It is making you block off or stuck. Okay, so it's about releasing the past, walking away from something that is not emotionally serving you. Okay, why is Angel of Balance here for the collective? Okay, all right, yeah. Temperance is about that angel of balance, okay? So this angel of balance is here to help you make decisions with the lover's energy, typically around partnership, which we saw earlier, okay? Um, because right now you are holding back from a wish fulfillment. Did we not just say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, spirit wants you to walk away from the past, okay? Release was not emotionally serving you from the past, so you can have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment, okay? Because something is keeping you stuck in your decision making, okay? Maybe when it comes to major life choices or partnerships, you're holding back from wish fulfillment. So Spirit wants you to maintain your peace, okay? Spirit wants you to, um, to build solid foundations for you in your emotional and personal balance, okay? Yeah, and remain conscious of how you are balancing your goals and physical and emotional energy as well. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I wish you guys are ready. I wish you nothing but the best today and every day. Bye.